and welcome back. So I did a tiny bit of inventory management, uh, marked some of this loot we got for repairs. And speaking of repairs, we should camp for a little bit, prepare some of our stuff. We will need some more tools quite soon, probably after that those repairs. Let's actually head to Konigsheim at this point. There we go. There's a caravan quest here, there's a return item quest here. We might do the return item at least, because the selling prices are just so, so good here. So I'll sell a little bit of the loot we got. Should wait to repair before we sell most of it though. So let's camp. See how long these repairs take. A long time. <coughs> Let's have two people repair, the rest can train. Wait for next day, I suppose, before we sell. Go to Volkenburg to buy some more tools after this. Could have salvaged these, but it's fine. I'll sell this sword stuff, don't think I'll be using it. Sell these hand axes, could have repaired this scramas axes, but didn't, I'll just sell them, sell these light crossbows. Uh, I guess we'll sell the warbow as well. Won't have anyone using a warbow for a long time, if ever. Don't have the roster spots anyway for an archer at the moment. So this chain mace. Is that it? Do I keep this two-handed chain mace? I don't think I will. Let's just sell it. We'll eventually find a famed one and We'll decide if we want to use that one when that happens. Should equip some of these helmets we got. So that one. Torov gets our best armor. This is 14510. That is an upgrade. And now he looks pretty. Okay, next up, maybe Eilika. 95.7, okay, not an upgrade. Let's give the Vala this male coif here. It's probably fine. Do have this basic male shirt to give someone, perhaps.
So yeah, we should buy some more nets at this point. So let's go buy some more tools and after that go buy some nets. Okay. Should be fine. Actually, let's sell a couple of these. And that. Ah, uh, should we do the follow the tracks first? Probably should. Okay, let's do it. 2,000 crowns southeast, that's near Volkenburg, that works for us. So this is a pretty easy fight, compared to the last one. It seems they have arranged superiority, at least they seem to think so, so we'll need to go for them. Okay, so should be an easy fight, so let's be relatively aggressive at least we can be a little aggressive with the Vala as well at this point we can also always rotate her out of trouble if, if that happens I think we'll just engage them immediately. Get that free shield wall there. Hmm, Sophie. Let's wait on Sophie. Let's move forward with Raymonda and not use perfect focus just yet. Nice headshot. Okay. Also a nice headshot, not on who I was targeting, but still. Inspire Nicholas for next round. Guess we'll adrenaline with the Crusader. repost once again just need to decide which which position to take 
Let's take this one. Immediate fail. Raimondo. Let's actually wait before we do anything there. Okay, reposting is not working as we'd like. Also take a wound on Margareta here. Because these guys have crippling strikes. Hmm. Only 59% on this radar, huh? Should have used adrenaline there, I guess. actually do a little bit of rotation again get Raymonda in position here yeah Leif gets a kill let's wait before we decide which position to take So we could inspire Nicholas, we could inspire Raimonda, we could inspire Akhir. Let's inspire... Actually, we can't inspire Nicholas because he's already inspired. Raimonda is going to burn through all her r fatigue anyway. Akhir probably as well. So let's just wait. Try to kill this thug here. Alright. Good. Go for this radar right here. Nice hit. Okay, maybe we should have inspired her. Was unable to get the skill and activate Berserk. Uh, Nicholas should be able to handle it at this point though. And handle it he did. Go for Harold and No Neck here. Which might be an omen, especially considering what happened to this guy. Okay, so Leif, I suppose you intercept this radar. Could also go here. Nah. Let's inspire Nicholas again. Get a nice 61% headshot with the hammer here. Go for the kill. Nope. Okay. Missed the 95 there. So it's possible I'm 
playing a bit too aggressive with the Crusader. You can't do this same maneuver against bandit veterans, for example, seeing how this is going. She's lost all her armor, taking some hit point damage. So I might be overestimating her tanking capabilities just a tiny bit. Okay, take a bit of damage from the woodcutter there on Nicholas. Even scores a nice hit. As does a leaf. Let's try to get this kill before we activate perfect focus. Maybe we shouldn't activate it. Hmm. Let's not actually. We are spending a lot of fatigue as is. Let's go for this this thug here. Get a kill as well. Also, we've lost the shield on Shararik. Be a bit careful with Nicholas. Let's go here and hopefully hit this overhead strike. Okay. Should remember to give Jarrick another shield for these kinds of situations. Who do we inspire? Let's actually move forward. And Margaret again try to kill this woodcutter here. Is able to do so. Turolf go for these marksmen who are going to reposition themselves before you're actually able to get to them because you're slower, but whatever. Gunhild can actually Well, let's take this boy with Gunhild. Akure, try to finish this raider here. Good job. And we get zombies. But the fight is won. Zombies or no, the fight is won. Let's wait with everyone who's next to these fleeing enemies. No need, no reason to kill them with our action points when they're just going to kill themselves when, when they flee. They shouldn't have back to basics, I don't think. Bandit veterans will, but these aren't bandit veterans. Let's actually ignore this this weird ganger and go for this marksman instead.
yeah, we really need <coughs> this battle flow for Akure. Okay, finish the job. And more zombies. And we also got stabbed. Okay, one more to go. Get level up on Charik. Get some loot. So Charik now level 11 as well. Bear some of this stuff to get a better price on it. <coughs> Sharik needs a shield, and now that I remember, let's have two of them. He does have shield mastery or expertise. So yeah, <coughs> we have this Battleforged people with this very light armor at the moment. That problem will fix itself eventually, though. Might not even take that long. We are now starting to meet Hedge Knights and Bandit Veterans, <coughs> Brigand Leaders, etc. But yeah, Sharik needs a perk. <coughs> and what we will go with? Rebound is a good option. We can just keep shield walling with it. Because shield wall costs 20 fatigue exactly. So yeah, let's pick a rebound. If he's able to get a famed shield with enhanced durability, he'll be quite the tank. Even without underdog. Let's go buy some tools. Also, actually, we need ammunition as well. Let's check the weapon smith in case there's a famed weapon. Nope. What about the armorer? Has this thing here, which we might buy. It's relatively cheap. Good for nimble builds. Good for Battleforge as well, but mostly for nimble builds. So it's minus two weight plus 20-ish durability it's not that great so we might not buy it let's buy a round the guardsmen are doing what they can but these brigands just move on to the next town and relay traders on the road they're set to lurk around Konigsheim now okay thanks for the tip So let's get some more tools. And I suppose also this expensive ammunition. And also, also we need more food once again. Uh, 
I suppose we'll buy goat cheese in that case. Okay, set up camp for a while. Repair some more stuff. Guess we should also salvage. Something like that. <clears throat> Wait for the next day, probably buy some more tools then, and then head back to Konigsheim. making some training progress as well Okay, so caravan quest is still here, we might take that, but now let's sell once again. Hmm. Did I repair this? Or did I mark them for repairs? Right, right, I did, but they're not repaired just yet. So I suppose now we should decide if we take that caravan quest or if we go for some more camps here. I think it's better to go for the camps at this point. Get some more monies out of these easy camps. Also we have a level on Torolf here. Let's take the fatigue. And let's take... Hmm. So, weapon-wise, I think eventually we'll get either flails or cleavers. Let's get battle flow for now. So, didn't we create this? We didn't. We should probably treat that before we do anything. Oh, what? Uh, here. She can treat herself. Okay, also allows us to repair. Your arrival in Konigsheim seems to be cause for some celebration. One of the town's councilmen greets you, offering refreshments. Always nice to be in Konigsheim. Well, sure, sure it is. Mostly to sell stuff. Okay, and let's sell. Let's 
Let's keep this noble sword just in case we want someone to use it. Let's also keep this regular crossbow. Actually, is that an upgrade? It's kind of. Kind of is an upgrade for you. So sell this light crossbow instead. So we should do some armor management now. Okay, some battleforged stuff. Want to give this tabard to someone with mind over body. Let's give it to. Mm, I suppose Magnachar. Let's give this simple cloak to Torolf here. Battleforged uh, percentage, percentage is at 71. Okay. Gunhild is also Battleforged. Let's upgrade her equipment. Hmm. These aren't that great. Well, she can have this uh, rotten great helm. Okay, so we have this light mail. Sophie's Battleforged is not an upgrade. Margareta, it is an upgrade for you. Okay. Sell this rondel helm, it's pretty bad. So, so sell this. And let's go make even more money. 28,000 isn't going to cut it. If we find some famed weapons, for example, this money will only get us like two or maybe three at most. So let's go check what we have here. Should be doable because it's so close to civilization and we're doing quite well at the moment. Haven't lost anyone in a long while. Okay. And once we are done with camps, we won't be taking this Necrosavant camp though. Uh, we will come back to Konigsheim, sell stuff again, and we'll see if that caravan quest is still available. It probably won't be, but there might be a new one in that case. Let's save just in case. Okay, so we don't currently know what's here, but let's camp for a little bit, and we will. Oswulf here will find out for us. Okay, so another relatively easy, actually quite easy undead fight. So let's take that. So we have web nets around here somewhere. After the camp, we might decide to fight them. We'll see. It's good experience. The loot is basically meaningless, but the experience is good. Okay, immediately hit this Helen Hund. Teleports back. So once again with these undead fights without necromancers, we just hold our position. Let's also increase the combat speed once again.
Okay, just hold. Let's not even use heightened senses yet. Let's wait for next round. Let's go ahead and inspire ne Nicholas here. The Crusader could do reposting again. No real reason to do so. So whatever. This time I won't reload with Akira, but just immediately equip these throwing axes. And welcome back, Helen Hund. There are the ghosts. Goodbye, Helen Hund. Wait. Torov may move. Same with Gulhild. Okay, let's do some perfect focusing. Miss a 95. Yeah, this these long swords, they're pretty good weapons. They just their damage is not that stellar, though. But eventually, we will find better weapons. Let's do some more rotations with a magnet jar here. Get Akhir in a slightly better position. Starting to show some of his potential actually manifest itself here. Still needs some help though to actually become the throwing god he's meant to be. Doesn't have a good target here. Just in turn. And inspire the crusader. It's another 95 on Raymonda. But it doesn't matter at all in a fight like this. In a tougher fight that might get someone killed, but not here. Inspire Nicholas, I guess. Oh, 
Akhir also misses a I do like the music, but this situation really doesn't call for such epicness. A lot of 95 misses this fight. <laughs> Immediately after we get hit by a 5%. Okay. Okay. Okay, Helen Hund left. <coughs> All right. So that's one more camp done. We got these nice little attachment attachments to our armor. Very nice. We also get Demon Hound Bones. Okay, let's attach these things straight away. So they're bo both quite heavy, meant for Battle Forged. <coughs> let's give these metal joint covers for Turulf, and let's give the metal pauldrons to maybe Gunhild? Sure. Gunhild may have them. Let's repair this garbage to sell. And let's see if we can find Another camp to bust. Okay, there's one. Here's the web next as well. I'm not gonna go chasing them. We'll do our little scouting again before we 
commit to the fight. Okay, so it is brigands this time, and it's on a hill, so we might have to do some climbing. It's a relatively easy uh, brigand. This might actually be what's ambushing Konigsheim, though. That is a consideration, actually. That is a major factor in their prices. Mm. So we might want to leave this here. It's a bit weird, maybe. Is this place here? Probably something more here as well. Can't be for sure which which brigand camp it is that is doing the ambushing. But it's quite likely to be this one. So I think we'll leave it there. Sure, let's leave it there. We'll also spawn some brigand groups, which will have nice loot for us. Okay, we found another camp straight away. And this one has also brigands. All right, so... <laughs> Is it going to be both of them or one of them that's ambushing Konigsheim? Ah, I guess we'll leave both of them. They're both pretty easy camps anyway. Okay, here's yet another stronghold. But I guess we are not really role-playing much if we're leaving brigands alive to ambush a friendly, <laughs> friendly city. As the Crusader. Oh, we. Raymonda here has completed the training course and gains a perk point and steady hand straight. That is actually very nice for her. Well, not very nice, but pretty nice. Plus five range skill there. Okay, so. She is the first one who who has completed their training course. Let's mark that down so we remember. Now for the perk. I guess we sh should maybe get fearsome thanks to her high resolve. Sure, let's get fearsome. Don't usually use that perk, but she is a good candidate for it. And Akir has also reached level 11. A very nice level up here. Gets two perks. Battle flow is for sure one of them. We could consider gifted. That would help us quite a bit, actually. We could get ranged skill, resolve, and fatigue up. Is there a good damage perk we haven't taken yet? And we could also take Bloodbath for help with um, Fatigue and Resolve. Gifted does that more reliably though. Close Combat Archer doesn't do quite anything just yet. We might not even take it since we only have... Well, actually it's two ranged defense instead of seven because Paranoid plus five doesn't count, I don't think. Hmm. Could go clarity for plus 10%. Uh, 
damage ignores armor, but I think gifted is still better than that. Sure, let's get gifted. Okay. Okay, so this is another one of these easy undead fights. Let's wait for dawn, because we have ranged people. And now, I guess Raymonda can be assigned to the hunting or camp kitchen instead of training, because she's completed the training course. And once again, we wait. And start, <coughs> start killing them. We're able to, able to do a lot more now when Raymond is both level 11 and has completed the training. <coughs> so let's check. Yeah, so Raymonda does have adaptive. So if we equip her with a flail, I think we should be able, if we pick this perk, to get access to battle flow. I think that's how it works. <coughs> but that would take a long, long while to actually get that battle flow. So we'll see. We'll see. Kind of a mindless easy fight once again. <coughs> Thankfully it will be relatively fast, despite it being zombies. Gastes are really no problem for us because we everyone has fortified mind and we have a couple of rally the troops. <coughs>
Okay, so <clears throat> the Crusader has killed 75 Vider Gangers so far, gains plus 10% melee skill and max damage. So I was talking about zombie films quite a while back now, during a zombie fight. Um, I'm by no means an expert in zombie films, but I have seen a fair few of them. My personal favorite, I think, is George Romero's Dawn of the Dead. Though I do enjoy Night of the Living Dead and Day of the Dead as well from him. Um, Zack Snyder, I think who it was, who made the remake of Dawn of the Dead. Um, that's a, that's also an okay film, but it's nowhere near as good as the original. <coughs> I recently, well, I think it was last year or the year before that watched Night of the, uh, no, Return of the Living Dead. I think it's what it's called. It's kind of a kind of a parody ver version of those Romero zombie films. Quite good. Pretty funny. Do recommend that one. Shaun of the Dead also also one of those humorous Yet, yet something you can take seriously, zombie films. I guess it's also, or, well, not already, it's been a while, but I think it's considered a modern classic in some circles. It's pretty good. Uh, 28 Days Later, also pretty good. 28 Weeks Later, don't remember much of it. I think I thought it was slightly worse than 28 Days Later. Generally, I prefer those um, slow zombies instead of the super fast rabbit ADHD zombies. I think they're just more threatening and they have like a slow menace to them. And you don't need to like... You're not as... I don't know. I don't know how to explain it. it, it it's fast, fast zombies kind of in my opinion, suffer from the same problem as some action films do, in that they're just trying to be so fast, so fast, you can barely keep up with what's happening. So, <clears throat> for example, that I think it was the Brad Pitt film, the relatively recent Brad Pitt film, was it World War Z or whatever, that has fast zombies in it. That's not like the only failing of that movie, I don't think you can really objectively say that fast zombies are failing, but at least that, did, that didn't help that film. Kind of a forgettable one. Trying to, re trying to think of other zombie films. Haven't seen the Italian zombie films. I think some, some people consider some of those classics. Hmm. Drawing a blank at the moment. So we have two ghosts left. Oh yeah, The Walking Dead. That's not a film, but 
first season quite good after that complete and utter garbage do not watch that uh, I think I stopped somewhere around season three or four and from what I heard it definitely didn't get any better from that uh, just very slow more like a soap opera repetitive characters are like whatever don't really care for them so they spent i think the second season they spent like half of it on a farm with nothing happening absolutely nothing i don't know how i how i suffered through that i have read a bit of the comics they're okay i think i have like two of those collections um, didn't really feel the need to read any more than that though what else have I watched with zombies hmm <laughs> well, can't think of anything just now, but we are through the fight, so maybe it's time to change topic anyway. Get some valuable items to sell, to get a couple of level ups. Okay, so what do we do with this guy? Even the smith. Guess we could just pick immovable object for more melee defense. Let's go ahead and do that. We have Margareta. Slowly becoming more reliable in combat. So if she wants to hit things, I think one-handed swords is the way to go. Could also get a fast adaptation. That is always allowed. It's a pretty good perk, especially in Legends, where you don't stop accumulating perk points at level 11. Could get battle flow. Doesn't seem that necessary for her. Already has mind over body and doesn't have um, Berserk. Just big immovable object for her as well. Let's go ahead and do that. And Gunhild. For also plus three melee skill. So maybe eventually she might actually be able to do damage as well. Perk wise, <clears throat> hmm. I guess we could again pick immovable object. Sure, whatever. Take that. At 79 melee defense with the shield. That's pretty good. Pretty good. That doesn't make her invulnerable though. Because she doesn't have a shield expert or underdog. So it's quite possible eventually she will succumb to sheer numbers of tough enemies. Like let's say orc warriors, bandit veterans, something like that. But let's continue looking for camps here. There's this camp at least. this brigand camp now this one is far away enough so it shouldn't be affecting the ambush trade route situation I don't think it is mm, 
it's it's mm, I w I wouldn't say it's very easy, but it's semi easy. At least if we wait for night time. We don't necessarily need to wait for night time. They do have a master archer, but honestly, those aren't that big of a problem. M might be because they have close combat archer, but mm. they have one marksman and one poacher. Their main threat is actually the few blacksmiths, which is a bit hilarious, maybe, considering they have a master archer. Okay, so next time we will take out this camp and then quite likely take out this camp and then head back to Konigsheim again. So let's save the game. And thanks for watching. See you next time.